They say that traveling by plane is much safer than traveling by car, and there is some data out there to prove it. In 2015, based on data from the National Safety Council, Americans had a 1 in 114 chance of dying in a car crash. That number pales in comparison to traveling by plane, with your odds at dying in a plane crash resting at a much nicer 1 in 9,821. Still, accidents do happen, and sometimes planes go down. Today, we'll analyze the 10 most incredible abandoned planes. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 10, Handley Page Victor. We'll kick things off today by talking about a strategic bomber jet that was developed by the British, and more specifically, by a man named Handley Page. The aircraft served during the Cold War, and the fighting plane was developed with the intent of the Royal Air Force to use it as part of its nuclear deterrent missions. The plane was regarded as a V-bomber, and originally flew in combination with the Avro Vulcan and the Vickers Valiant. However, the one in this image has clearly crashed somewhere and was ultimately left abandoned. The exact location of this crash is unknown, though there are more than a dozen reported crash landings of a Hanley Page Victor noted throughout history. This video displays the final flight that any Hanley Page Victor ever flew, as back on November 30th, 1993, it was flown to the Cosford Air Museum in the United Kingdom to be preserved there for the rest of time. Number 9. Boeing 737 in Bali Now we'll travel out to Bali, where there are not one, but two abandoned Boeing 737s, and for whatever reason, no one can seem to get a clear answer as to why. Well, until a guy named Nat Castle, a writer for Vice.com, decided to do a little investigating on his own. And while he wasn't able to learn how both planes ended up apparently abandoned on this Indonesian island, he did get the lowdown on one. The plane in question, which sits next to a Dunkin' Donuts, is a bit worn down, and it doesn't even have its engines. Long story short, the plane was owned by a local who was charging other locals, tourists, and anyone else who wanted to pay $5 a head to climb on in and take a couple of selfies. The owner of the plane, a gentleman named Solomon, eventually wanted to turn the abandoned aircraft into a hip restaurant, but the last we heard, he's still waiting on an investor to help renovate it. So. If you want to own a restaurant made out of an airplane on an island out in Indonesia, well, today might be your lucky day. Number 8. The B-24D Liberator on Atka Island Up next, we've got the B-24D Liberator that was purposefully crash-landed on Atka Island during World War II, just one year after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. This bomber was essentially just serving as a weather scout at the time and was attempting to land because the weather they were tracking went from bad to worse in an instant as they approached the runway. However, visibility went to nil. At the last moment, the crew noticed a vacant clearing on what they assumed was an open beach. While running out of fuel, they managed to skid the plane onto the small strip of land, crash landing it the best they could. Luis Blau, one of the co-pilots on the trip recalls how after the crashed plane skid for several hundred feet, he heard nothing but silence once the plane finally stopped sliding. That silence, he says, with a smile, was a beautiful thing because it meant that everything was over, especially because all 11 passengers on board survived the crash landing. Number 7. Grumman Albatross in Puerto Escondido Two of our first three entrants on today's list were helping countries fight wars, while this next one wasn't doing anything quite as noble as that. The crashed Grumman Albatross, a large amphibious flying boat, may be popular with the U.S. Air Force, Navy, and Coast Guard, but officials claim that this particular vehicle was being used to smuggle cocaine back in 2004. While in the middle of a drug run, the aircraft was intercepted by government vehicles. The plane was forced out of the sky and crash-landed onto the ground. 
Amazingly, most reports of the accident claim that everyone on board survived the crash. The wreckage would go on to stay here, on this very beach, for more than a decade. Some folks say that after the crash, the survivors then carried as much of the cocaine they were traveling with by hand as they scurried away from the scene. And oh, I also feel compelled to tell you that some locals say that they were all eaten by crocodiles from the nearby lagoons before they could completely escape. But that last part has yet to be confirmed. Number 6. Avro Shackleton in the Western Sahara Unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot of information out there about this next abandoned plane, but we do know this. On July 13, 1994, this plane was carrying 19 passengers. The trip was from South Africa to the UK. The Avro Shackleton is a British plane used by both the Royal Air Force and South African Air Force. The reports are that the aircraft experienced double engine failure on this unfortunate day, but luckily enough, Everyone that was on board, all 19 passengers, survived. Can you imagine flying over the massive Sahara Desert and experiencing engine failure in the middle of your flight? And the fact that everyone lived? Now that's pretty remarkable. Number 5. The other Boeing 737 in Bali So you remember how we said that there were two abandoned Boeing 737s in Bali? While well, the first one was next to a Dunkin' Donuts and destined to be converted into a restaurant, this one here is in an open field perched conspicuously close to a beautiful limestone quarry. The major difference between this one and the one we were talking about before is that the process in which this massive plane arrived here is truly a mystery. Absolutely no one knows how it got here or who would have wanted it to be here. Oddly enough, there are rumors that it was too destined to become a local eatery, but sticking with the theme, no one could seem to understand where or when those rumors would have even started. Number 4. Black Beach In 1973, the U.S. Navy Douglas 747 Skytrain was considered to be one of the most beautiful planes in the world while flying over an area called the Black Beach in Sohima Center, which is on the south coast of Iceland, the plane crashed. This is another one of those miraculous times where everyone on board survived, but for whatever reason, the wreckage and remnants of the airplane was never hauled away from the scene. This is considered to be one of the more popular abandoned plane sites on Earth, as the black sand always seems to contrast with the sunset in the distance then, of course, with the wrecked plane as well. Number 3. Truly Abandoned While every abandoned plane that we've shown you to this point has been the result of some sort of botched landing, this next one isn't like that at all. Actually, this plane landed perfectly and normally in an airport, which is exactly where you'd want your plane to land. The only problem is that it last landed in Madrid's main airport several years ago, and so far, nobody has stepped forward to claim it. Reports from CNN say that the airport authorities tried to find the passenger plane's owner but were ultimately unsuccessful. So the only course of action the airport has is to follow the bureaucratic lines laid out by their government. When an owner can't be found, then three notices about the plane will go out to the state bulletin. If no one still steps forward within 12 months, then after one year, the plane can get auctioned off. So this time around, if you're in the market for an MD-87 that's slightly used and, well, hasn't seen much action in the last few years, then head out to Madrid and see if you can't come up on one. Number 2. Curtis C-46 One of the most unique nicknames for an airplane that you'll ever hear is Miss Piggy, and it has been resting on the rocky terrain near Churchill, Manitoba, up in Canada. They called it Miss Piggy because it hauled larger than normal loads, as it carried its passengers from city to city. But on this day in 1978, the plane was too full, and just a few minutes after takeoff, the oil pressure dropped, and the plane was forced to turn around and go back to Churchill. Once the pilot realized they weren't going to make it, he decided to descend onto the rough terrain. Fortunately enough, everyone survived though a few of the crew did sustain some injuries. Nowadays, the abandoned wreckage serves 
as a tourist attraction. Number 1. Plain Graveyard One thing that us humans are really good at doing is not worrying about things that no longer serve us a purpose. Case in point, garbage is literally everywhere, on the streets and in the oceans, and it's because we all typically carry such a carefree attitude about not being wasteful. But you never really think about that in the sense of these huge, massive aircraft that we make newer and better every day. What about all the airplanes that go out of commission? What happens when a multi-million dollar aircraft can no longer serve its purpose? Well, just like with many other things, there is in fact a graveyard for airplanes. And this right here is the largest plane graveyard in the world. It can be found in the Arizona desert. And you can even look at a detailed view of it and all of its 4,400 plus airplanes online. This place is known as the Davis Monthan Air Force Base, or what's often simply referred to as the Boneyard, and it's not hard to see why. There are all types of planes here too, everything from A-10 Thunderbolts to F-14 Tomcats to massive bombers. While I know places like these are necessary and certainly beats the alternative of just letting these things rot where they lay, I just hope we never discard so much garbage that we run out of places to store it all. Just saying. That was the 10 most incredible abandoned places. Have you ever had the opportunity to see any of these for yourself? If you have, then you know we'd love to hear all about it. Also, don't forget to let us know what your favorite clips were by commenting down below. You've been watching The Supreme. See you next time.